Okay, so let's put in five rounds and see if we can get in the ballpark. Left and tall. Three targets left. Uh, four targets tall. So it's gone too far. We really need to put that target back further. But <laughs> yeah. See if I can make it work with this. Uh, left and. Uh, trying to be tall. One target tall, five targets left. Left? Yes, yeah, so a good height, but left. Spot. Hold on. Tall and slightly right. Whew, I can't really get to a place where it's, it's too hard to hold there properly. Yeah, I'm, yeah. But needs to go back further to range this, but let's just from a hold. Tall and left. That was really close. Like one and a half targets tall, one and a half targets left. <laughs> okay, well, that's yeah. good. Well we can go back further. I was actually this because I'm holding the the dot above the top of this. Yeah. Well, I'm on, on our rock pile there. Yeah. I'm holding four foot below the rocks on the rock pile. Okay. To the left hand side of that rock pile is my hole. So yeah. that's where it's travelling to. Yeah. But I mean I can we can go back another two hundred yards. Yep. And that would be an easier hole. Well g'day guys. Um, listen, just out, out having a bit of fun. Um, this is the target we just set up here. Uh, just with the silly idea of something a bit um uh, a bit a bit fun, a bit um interesting and different basically taking my 4570 guide gun so it's only a short barrel lever action marlin in 4570 same one that i used um, it's got a little ladder sight on it and it's the same one i used to hit just over a thousand yards offhand hit a 24 inch plate i um, mean thinking about just sort of novel things to try or bits and pieces in the way of our extreme long extreme long range genre was how far with that um, long range sight and it's a short barrel so you actually do have the ability to cock it a fair bit a longer barrel you're going to have to hold down a long way but in the short barrel you have it there to run a fairly big angle where i was actually using the top of the sight onto the um, target onto the um the um dot at the end of the barrel so actually using the sight and how far could i make the rounds i found which i had done some they're pretty hot loads they're running the 325 grain um, FTX Hornady um, projectile, see how far that actually fly. In the basic mass of using uh, the sort of tables that are in that you'd normally use in a um, in a ballistic app to actually see what it was going to take, I thought it was going to be about 1500 yards. We had a little play the other day when we were out and found that it was way past 1500 yards, looked like it was closer to around the 1800, um, 1900 yards. This target here, I set up. <laughs> um, actually, I'll get Sam to come forward so you can see that. 1,822 yards. So that's where I set up this target. The truth of it is, man, it's going to be another couple of hundred yards. And we found, we ran some shots up there. You'll find I got within sort of a metre and a half of the target, but I had to hold right down. I wasn't able to use the site properly the way I was using it. I was holding down in the, in the bunch of rocks beforehand. We got close, but we're going to have to find another bit of dirt, try this little novel thing some other day to actually see if we could properly range it. It's going to be closer to 2,000 yards, I think, is how it's actually how much it's actually able to travel, which surprises the hell out of me. Uh, 4570, 325 grain, you know, hunting projectile. Um, but, yeah, listen, it's a bit interesting. It's um, all this sort of stuff. It pushes you um, all sorts of control, trying to get to actually hit targets. 
I'm not considering I'm going to be able to hit a 24 inch plate offhand at 2,000 yards. Don't let me tell you any lies. I'm not trying to say that at all. I've just got a target as we have a proper point of reference. Um, and we'll see, we'll have a play at that later on. But we put some video on there to show, you'll see it was actually shooting over the top of this crest here when I was actually aiming straight at the target. Well, I shouldn't say I was aiming at it. I was aiming at the same level. Because I have no windage, with, with a wind like we have now, I'm probably aiming about 30 to 40 yards over there to counteract the wind. So it's definitely a holdover shot, but thought it was just a bit interesting. It was interesting to us to see how far they flew, um, so we thought we'd um, thought we'd check. Slightly right and low. One target right, six targets low. Okay. Well, that's not terrible. Yeah. And that was very visible. Yes, it was. Well, I'll come up, get it on target. Okay. So that's, what have I got? I've got 125 uh, plus 50. So that's 175. That's exactly what I expected, actually. Level with the bottom end of your plate, two targets right. Well, it was good on the hot, on that, but the wind is pretty hot. Yeah. Some um, 30 minutes of wind. Yes, definitely is, isn't it? See the impact, but the target moves. I it too. Yeah. Saw it wobble. Well, that's four shots, and we've at least hit the. Well, it didn't look like the frame. It looked like uh, edge of plate. I see it. It's eight o'clock. A very edge of plate. Okay. Well, one more with these. Okay. Moving the 
trying to see where the impact is. Uh, can't visualise at the moment. Oh, it might be top right corner. Alright, well. Yep, top right corner. So let's see what the horn be do. Radio. That's pretty easy, we're on target. Okay. Six shots hit it twice. Damn. Same hold to start off with. Good to go. Right and low. Two targets low, one and a half targets right. Well, let's not pick on them yet. Do the same one, see if we get the same place. Okay. But it's light, they're not quite as efficient. Yep. Right and low. Two targets right, two targets low. Exactly like they're not quite at the fish, isn't it? Okay, yep. That's at the same spot. A little yep. bit more wind, a little more drop. So let's go to. and low. Half target low, one and a half targets right. Oh, in uh, low. Well, I got uh, across enough, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, six o'clock, three quarters of target low. In front, low. Uh, True cause the target low, six o'clock. Got the wind. Yeah, that's good. Target moving, hit. I'm finding it difficult to see. See if I can come in some more. But that's a hit on plate. I just can't see where it is. <laughs> hit on plate. Moving nicely. Bottom corner. Lower right corner. Okay, well that's good. Yes, on plate. Okay. So there's definitely another, um, I should look at that probably, another five minutes of, what have we got, one, two, three, four, five, nearly six minutes of elevation. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six minutes of elevation. And there was another um, three minutes of windage. Okay. Target um, with the 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, and actually, the shots that were on here, there's the Hornady is these two here, um, and the Burger was these two here. You'll see um, we thought one was here, Sam thought you could see up here there was obviously a piece of paint off here that made it look like a hit. The second hit with the Burger was actually here, pretty close to central. Um, went really well. I was really impressed. I wasn't, um, listen, I was hoping to be on target. Um, we shot out to 2,500 yards, so we've gone back a little bit further, and I'll just range that for you now.
There we go, at 26.85 yards. So 1.3 miles, sorry, 1.53 miles. So just after one and a half miles. Um, we set it up here, I knew the gun shoots really well. I know that the, the, the 140 grain Burger hybrid targets were gonna do the job properly. Um, but I really wanted to check out here to check the comparison and see the efficiencies of the Hornady and um, I'm definitely a burger fan. I've, I've liked them for a lot of years, um, but the Hornady's a lot of people like them and I really wanted to test out here. Now, I'm after efficiency. This isn't thousand yard accuracy or that side of things. Um, and um, I'm not gonna pick on any of that side of things. Um, I did find that the, what I set up this time around was equal powder loads. So it means the Hornady's probably running a tiny bit more pressure, um, being a 147 grain ELD projectile, but they were both exactly the same powder loads and I found that the burger flew a little more efficiency, efficiently. It's about six minutes of difference in hold to get out here. So um, it means that what I'm using is what suits me um, it, for the ELD stuff or the, sorry, the ELR stuff or ULR stuff um, and probably 1.5 miles with, with a 6.5 Creedmoor you'd, you'd step into the bracket of ultra long range. But that's what we thought we'd do. Oh, by the way, I should point out for those who are not realising, this is a 300 wind mag hit we've got here at over two miles. But that's another part of the video. But the um, that shot really went nicely. I was really happy with it. it. Worked really well. It puts the burger bullet for me is the better projectile. Works nicely out here. But both work really, really well. Okay. Right and low. Oh, I only just saw it. Um, I saw it. Yeah, eight targets right, four targets low. Okay. So there's a fair bit of right wind, which is what I thought would be the case. Okay, let's see how. We go with a hold like. Low. Yep. One target right, six targets low. Right and low. Two targets low, one target right. We'll do another one of exactly the same. Yep. See if it goes to the same spot.
Oh, right and low. Half target low, one target right. Okay, so we're on it. Yeah. Ooh. Tall, yeah. Top right. Quarter of a target tall, half a target right. <laughs> Top right. Quarter of a target tall, half a target right. That was consistent, wasn't it? Yeah. Really consistent. That's a direct hold correction. Oh, just over top. Twelve o'clock. Just over top of plate. Right and low. One target low, one target right. <laughs> Hit! On plate! Three o'clock, uh, two inches from the right edge. Huh. Got him. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow, hey. <laughs> awesome. On plate. That's a hit on plate. I've got yeah. a fair bit one to do. Let's, um, let's call it that. That's a hit. That's, and let's range that properly for the camera. The distance was, where is there yet? Two o. Oh, Miles. So that's our distance, which is 2.06 miles or 3,617 yards to target. And that's the 230 grand burger out of our friend of Win Mag. Awesome. Okay. okay. Well, let's go and target and check it out. Right here. Okay, well, here we are at target at the just over 3,600 yards. Um, the 300 wind mag on. Look, there's the um, there's the jacket. Still busting the jacket open. You can see there that they are at this stage. They're starting to come down with the uh, arc of the bullet. They're not travelling with your. And you can see it definitely struck down there. Still put a decent little dent in the steel plate out here. So even over two miles, the 300 wind mag still has a bit of a whack to it. Um, and yeah, didn't take that many rounds. A few strikes around the place, just behind. There's one over here, just in front. So it was very, very close. Um, I did that pretty easily, actually. I was expecting to spend some more rounds than that, uh, but that was on pretty easily. So wind is, as it was, pretty low at target. Really quite hot up there above the stuff that's coming over the hill um, was, is probably up in the 25 miles an hour from what, uh, 25... Yeah, 20 to 25 miles an hour from the data I'm okay. using. So we put together but something just a little bit bigger as to something to, uh, as a bit more of a, a um, TV show as to what we've been up to. Took a couple of days to put all this together. Um, I hope you like what we did. Um, very much doing it for, for, for you guys. And listen, keep in mind everybody, um, if you haven't subscribed, <laughs> please subscribe. Hit the bell next to it and you'll get notifications of what we're putting out. We're trying to put out a video, at least one a week. Um, like us it helps on that side of things it changes the ranking on that sort of stuff and for those who can we'd love some support we'd love some help we spend a fair bit doing this we try to put a lot of effort in trying to be a bit entertaining so suggestions all that sort of stuff feel free to put them in there uh, but if people want to support us 
There's a link to our web store and in there you can buy support. Um, we're doing it that way particularly because rather than where a lot of other sites take half the funds or 20% of the funds or whatever it is um, for the site side of things, we're doing it in standalone side of things so your funds go to helping us play. And um, listen, we spend a fair bit, so listen, we'd really appreciate anything you can help on that score. But listen, regardless of that, for the people who watch, thank you very much for the people who support us just with your, with your participation in looking at what we're up to. Thank you very much. And guys, we'll catch you next time.